Hello, my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and give me a solid and click that like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. I'm just going to keep on giving you guys these budget friendly fragrance reviews. 40 ish, not a dollar range. And most of these are way less than that. A good number of these you find at your local rack stores. And what I'm talking about today is all of that because I found it at a rack store. Got it for super cheap uh, $7.99 for a 30 ml bottle. Uh, found it at TJ Maxx. And it reminded me of some kind of like anime thing or something. The box looks just like the bottle. And I'm talking about Emmanuel Ungaro Fresh. So this is a 2020 release. It's a woody aromatic, I think it is. Uh, real, real light, cheap lid. It slides pretty snug into place. The atomizer itself is really nice. So with this one, it's very, very, very fresh. You're gonna get a nice, nice, not extremely synthetic either, dose of citruses, some ginger. The ginger and the citruses give this thing a super bright pop in the initial blast of this thing. There's a little bit of that violet that gives it kind of a water, it's like a watery violet. This isn't like that real, um, heavy on the kind of petroleum type smell, but it's more of a watery violet with a little bit of vetiver and some like oak moss and stuff like that, giving it a hint of dustiness in there. So it's fresh spicy as well. This is a very, very, very clean, bright, fresh spicy summertime jam. This thing will work great in the office. It'll work great at the beach. This is a drive with your windows down, wearing a, an A-frame t-shirt, just cruising in the sun type of a fragrance. I don't understand the bottle so much. I guess they're trying to be different. If that's what the case is, then they definitely succeeded. Any age can enjoy this. This thing was launched in 2020. Um, I don't know anything about this house. It's actually like one of my first times hearing from it. The liquid is actually blue in there, which is kind of cool. It matches the bottle completely. It's just a freshie, a summertime freshie without being redundant because I don't have anything that's exactly like this. It smells similar to um, Tier Dare Me. Tier Dare Me. I always pronounce it wrong. It's a tough one. But it smells like that, except that one is more orangey. Like if you scratch an orange, you get that orange peel. That's kind of what that has going on, where this one not so much. But this does. Even though it's grapefruit and, st and bergamot or something with the ginger listed, it almost gives off like a tangerine mandarin type of a, of a scent profile. I don't know if it's a combination with those and some of that fresh spiciness coming together that give it that, but to me, this is... Uh, I thought I something, I guess not. It's kind of like that. Fresh spicy, citrusy, a little bit of watery, a little bit of that earthiness in the bottom of it. It is a really, really surprisingly good fragrance. That's how you can't always judge a book by the cover. What sold me on this is not only is it $7.99, but the fact that it said Eau de Toilette on the box. If it said Eau de Cologne, I would have stayed away from it. If it said Eau de Parfum, I would have definitely been sold. But so Eau de Toilette, I was on the hunt for something. They were like out of everything there at, um, oh no, yeah, at Burlington. That's where I got this from. Uh, they were out of like everything, so I was like, eh, why not? I'll roll the dice on it. If it stinks and I'm only out a couple bucks, and I'll still be able to make a video and let you guys steer away from it. But in this case, I'm advocating it. It's a blind buy fragrance just because they're so cheap. It's, um, I say six and a half. Uh, if I get average performance, assuming that's going to be average, I'll say that this is a six and a half for this universally liked, inoffensive, Compliment potential because of that fresh spiciness going on. Little weird looking bottle. So, you see it out there? Just roll the dice on it, maybe. You might really like this thing. It's almost got a um, Versace blue jeans uh, look. And we're getting really close to that thousand subscriber mark. So, once I hit that thousand subscribers and I put a video out that day, that's the day I'm going to make an announcement for you to leave that comment so I can do my giveaway on Latafis Hayati, the black one, the original one. We're doing that giveaway when I hit that thousand subscriber mark. We are extremely close. So when I get that, there's not too many people that leave comments, so your chances are quite good. So keep on watching and uh, 
With that, I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself always. And until next time. Thank <laughs> you.